McLovin, you ready with Against the Grain? Winners and losers from uh, the Combine. Uh, hit the music. Uh, brought to you by Red Hook. Dan, we're going to look at the real winners and losers. Now, follow me here. Guys who are winners at the Combine. Winning are really leading to teams being losers by overdrafting them in a couple months. So everybody here is a winner at the Combine, but a loser for a team. Let's start with Texas receiver Marquise Goodwin. Ran a 4-2-7-40. So on the fastest ever. The dude caught 26 passes last year at Texas in the Big 12. You know how easy it is to catch a pass (laughs) in the Big 12? I I just don't see the production on the field. I think he's going to be a loser. Hit the music scene. Another big winner slash loser, Luke Jokel, Texas A&M offensive tackle. Also, Eric Fisher, offensive tackle, Central Michigan. Lane Johnson, offensive tackle, Oklahoma. All killed it at the Combine. All probably top five to top ten guys. Guess what? It's not smart to draft a left tackle. There's a lot of free agent tackles out there. Not only that, but let's look at some of the past guys who've gone in the top five. 2010, Trent Williams, always hurt. 2009, Jason Smith, Rams, barely in the league. 2008, Jake Long. He's gone for Miami, hasn't helped them at all. 2007, Joe Thomas. I know you love him, but the Browns have stunk on offense ever since he got there. 2006, Brickashaw Ferguson, bomb. Robert Gallery, 2004, bomb. <laughs> Draft the left tackle in top five. He doesn't help your offense. Hit the music, Seton. <laughs> Dan, do you know this guy, David Amerson from NC State? Almost at the interception mark two years ago. Ran a 4-4-4 at the 40. Mayock said he could climb back in the first, first round. This guy is the poster child in the sense that he is the poster of getting burned for every receiver in college football. (laughs) Let up four touchdowns against Miami. Tennessee got killed. He was so bad last year. Came in with high expectations. I had him as number three on my early mock. This guy goes in the first round. I'd be shocked. Hit the music. By the way, there's a visual component behind me. Did you even see that part? Yeah, yeah, it's nice. nice. That's Mangus Hunt from SMU on the back. Hell He's yes, called it Ivan is. Drago by all the uh, people inside the Do you realize NFL. how great he was in the bowl game? See, no. You didn't, you didn't text me that he was on. That would have been helpful before I prepared this as him being a workout wonder that you shouldn't draft. You mean the guy can play? Yeah. I don't know. I don't agree with you. I heard all he can do is block field goals and <laughs> extra points. Okay. But he's 6'8", 277. Uh, he ran a 4.57, uh, 38 reps of 2.25. He's supposed to be sick. I love the nickname Yvonne Drago. I just wanted to throw his photo up there. So you like him. And, and his uh, name is? Mangus Hunt from SMU. Remember he that was, name? He was, uh, I think, in a bowl game, and maybe it was in Hawaii, where he totally disrupted the game. Totally, totally, totally disrupted the game. And the fact that people now notice him, all they have to do is look at that bowl game to see what he can do on a football field. It, it changed the entire complexion of that bowl game. Just wow. to let you know. Well, okay, uh, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> the big quarterback winner, Matt Barkley. Winning. Matt Barkley, of course, did not work out. But the fact that everybody else looked totally average, except for probably Geno Smith, has to help Barkley. I saw him at the Combine. He was bopping around with his huge CAA entourage with that California good looks. I think teams really fall in love with guys they don't see play. I think that's why you draft so many underclassmen. They really, you know, I think the less he does, the higher he'll go. I think he moved up at combine weekend, but not doing a thing. Hit the music. Big combine winner or loser, depending on how you look at it. Star Lotulele. Uh, You're hearing he falls. Somebody's going to get a great player here. Yeah, health wise, with the he's gonna play, Dan. Yeah, I li- I think he's great. So I say he falls to fifteen, he's gonna be hello day. I like that. Yeah, I think he he's gonna be a great bargain because of this combine weekend. Hit the music. Oh, Jarvis Jones, Georgia. I'll be quick here. Fourteen and a half sacks last year. Twenty four point five tackles for a loss. Falling because of something called spinal stenosis. Ooh. Come on, it just sounds scary. This guy is gonna be fine. You know, he's a guy some people thought number one. Now you see him falling because his neck. Yeah, if he gets one bad hit, he's out of the game forever. I love that kind of player. You always take the injury risk like Rob Gronkowski. I say he's going to be a great bargain because of medical concerns. Hit the music. Two more. I know you're, uh, I can tell you're, I'm losing you. 
Arkansas running back Niall Davis ran a 4 3 7. Mm. This guy stunk last year. Fumbled everywhere. <laughs> had, didn't run for many Wait, yards. Wasn't he injured? Yes, he was injured. He's coming back from all sorts of injuries. Now, usually I would say he's a combine wonder. I love this guy. Just look at the photo. He's ripped. Not that everybody in the NFL is a rip. So I'm going against my own logic, and I love this workout wonder. Niall Davis is my guy. I get year. ripped to listen to against the grain. Last one. Guy who really bombed at the combine. You all know him, Manti Teo. I think someone's going to get a bargain here. I'm officially saying I think he will be a first-round pick. Wow. Hey, sorry, you can't back out of the Wheel of Punishment bet. I just said it against the grain. That's so lame. You can, that's lame. That is that so is, lame. That is. That is that, total BS on your all part. All of a sudden, uh, like Adam Schefter and people yes. are like, there's no way he's fallen out of the first round. Yes. That's so weak. McLovin, I'm very, very disappointed in you. Schefter just tweeted that Manti's going yes. to the first round. McLovin comes over to me and he goes, uh, man, I like to get out of that. I think Teo is going the first round. I said, no, no, bet's a bet. You got face the wheel of punishment. You and Seton got a bet. Game on, dude. This isn't fair because somebody told Schefter something and now Teo's a first rounder. That's it, by the way.